Hey guys, so in this question that we are told that the net force on B is 10 newtons to the right, determine the charge of C. Alright, so we know that B is going to move to the right, okay? But we don't know what C's charge is yet. So what we can do is we can work out the effect of A on B first. So it's FAB equals to K, which is 9 times 10 to the 9, times C's charge, which is 4, but it's po we just keep it as positive. And then B's charge is 3 times 10 to the minus 9. The distance between them is 2, and so we say 2 squared. And so we end up with 27 newtons. Now we know that a is negative, B is positive, so they will be attracted to each other. And so because we are talking about B, it means that B is going to have to move to the left. So if B is moving 20, is if B has a force, or if A exerts a force of 27 newtons on, to the left on B, and the overall effect on B is to the right, then how much should C be? Well, C would have to be 37 newtons because 37 to the right minus 27 to the left gives us 10 newtons right. And so now we can work out the charge of C because we can say FAC is equal to 9, I mean FBC, sorry, is equal to 9 times 10 to the 9 times by B's charge, which is 3 times 10 to the minus 9, times C, which is X, and the distance between them is 3 squared. But we know what the force is supposed to be. We know that B and C, there is a force of 37 newtons between them. And so we can say 37 newtons like that. We don't have to put the N. And so now we need to solve for X. So we could say 37 times 3 squared divided by 9 times 10 to the 9 times by 3 times 10 to the minus 9 is equal to X. Notice what I did there, I took the 3 squared up to the top, and then I took these two down to the bottom. And so if you type all of that in on the calculator, we will realize that C has a charge of 12.33 coulombs. Now, we will actually be able to tell whether C is positive or negative, because if C causes B to move to the right, it means that C is attracting B, and so C must be negative, because B is already positive and opposites attract. So we can say that C has a charge of minus 12.33 coulombs. That's it for this lesson. Thank you for watching.